design your filter in monolithics in AWR, first load monolithics into AWR. Bring up the AWR export page. Under Part Libraries and Interconnects, select Monolithics CLR. Load the Monolithics database into New Hertz with this button. Define your substrate. First, load the substrates in from Monolithics. Left click to select a substrate. Close. Right click to select an inductor. Right click to select a capacitor. Set the desired interconnect geometry ratios that will show up in your export. Optionally save your configuration and you can of course optionally retrieve a predefined configuration. If you wish to see layouts, export, select the appropriate checkboxes. Now select overwrite. Bring up the AWR optimization tool. You can see at 1 gigahertz there is an error between the design requirements and the actual simulated S parameters. You will see the circuit schematic. You will see the layout with interconnects and of course the optimization panel. To optimize, we will optimize interconnect geometry, these variables here. We will optimize part values using these variables here. And we will use the actual manufacturer part values using AWR discrete optimization. To begin our optimization, we simply say start and wait for the optimization to complete. When your S parameters begin to look better, at these high frequencies of 1 gigahertz or so, we need to do an electromagnetic optimization. Stop the optimization. Snap the layout together. Enable your extraction block. Extract your layout into an AWR supported EM enclosure. Several selections exist depending on what is installed on your machine. We will select AWR's Axiom. Resume the optimization. And now your optimizations will be optimized for the electromagnetic response. When complete, your electromagnetically optimized filter should much more closely meet your design requirements.